A continuación presentamos el devocional diario por el pastor José Manuel Sierra y traducido al inglés. En español se emite de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias y queda grabado en nuestros canales de Facebook y YouTube. Debajo en la descripción de este vídeo encontrará el enlace para los devocionales en español. Good morning, my dear brethren. May the Lord bless you and welcome once again to these devotionals that as you know very well, we uh, share them from Monday through Friday to start the day with the Lord, with His help, with His strength and presenting our lives in prayer and all the activities that we will do along the day because we have concluded and we are very clear about that that separated from the Lord there is nothing, absolutely nothing we can do. Men can be very, feel very strong and with a lot of experience and powerful, but we know perfectly well that without the support and the favor of the Lord, we are totally lost. Today, the devotional is going to be based in the book of Amos, specifically chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. Pay attention because uh, each one of you, believe me, will be able to understand perfectly well this text that is going to be good for all of us. And it says the following, Seek good and not evil, that you may live. So the Lord God of hosts will be with you, as you have spoken. Hate evil, love good, establish justice in the gate, and it may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. Do you realize how the Bible is not that difficult to understand? For example, this portion, every one of you I'm completely convinced that have understood it perfectly well. Seek good and not evil. The question is, what is good and what is evil? Because if we seek and in practice and internalizing the good things we will live and we will be destroyed little by little if we practice bad, then we will be uh, knowing what is Amos talking about seeking good and hating evil. The good is everything that God has taught us in his word that is good. The good is love, the peace, the fellowship, the respect, the submission. Good is everything biblical. Good is everything that brings balance to our lives and our minds. Good is everything that Christ did along his life that we can see in the Gospels that we have in our Bibles. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The good is something that brings life and life abundantly. Life is, is good is everything that, di, that does not displease God. So that's what it says, that we have to make an effort and seek it. Because we have to internalize the biblical truth and put in practice the commandments of the Lord for having a daily fellowship and direct with Him, to know Him, serve Him, respect Him. The wise thing is to abhor and to hate evil and that can destroy us spiritually or physically. A wise person is a person who sees danger and, and flees from it, not because he's a coward, but because he's the He's prudent and wise. The Bible says everything is lawful, but it's not convenient for us. I'm not going to be dominated by any one of those things. What a w wisdom the texts of the Bible have that Lord talks very clearly to the one who wants to do things right. It says that the wise, the prudent, the one that is good, with a, just an insinuation, just a hint, They know the message and understand it. But the one that is not, the one that does not want to change, the one that abhor and hates evil, I mean good and, and love evil, it doesn't matter what you say or what you do to them, they are going to be able to understand because they are completely convinced and they don't want to put in practice what God has put in practice, what is going to be good for you and going to bring balance emotionally and stability in your life. The Lord is talking once again to the tribes of the north through the prophet Amos and says, if you do this, maybe the Lord is going to have mercy on you. Why does it, does it say maybe? 
well because the sins have been so terrible and the disorder have been so so incredible in the life of the people that the prophet Amos, he says, you have tired God so much and you have so, done so many sins and you have hate all good word that comes from the heart of God to your lives that maybe the Lord is going to say, it's enough, it's too late. Do you know that the Bible says there is a time for everything? It's evident there is a time to be born, a time to die. There is also a time for peace and a time for war, that there is a time to laugh and a time to mourn. There is a time for everything that you do under the sun. Well, so who is the one who has established that there is a time for everything? Well, our God, our Lord, our Creator. And also there is a time to seek God, and this is the time to seek God. This is the time, if I may say, to put our batteries on and say, Lord, I'm going for everything. I want to be serious about you. I want to change you and please you. This is not the time to play. This is not the time to be distracted and entertained with little things and toys that are going to make us forget of the things of God. This is the time to seek God because now it is the opportunity that God is giving us every day to seek Him, to honor and serve Him and also to show that all that theory that we have learned, we're going to practice and, and put it into practice. Because what good is it to know and know and know the scripture by memories and scriptures that you know by memory if you don't practice them, if you don't live them? They're worthless. On the other hand, they, they are contrary. The one who knows how to do the good thing and does not do it, to him is sin. Many of you write to us and ask us, Pastor, I want an, a, an advice. What would you do in my situation? And I see that there are many people dominated by fear, fear of the family, fear of the denomination, fear to lose the work or the position that you have or to go against the familiar, the family pattern and traditions. And then they suffer and they don't do anything. They are just comfortable to a cruel reality that they know that it's not going to be good for them, but they don't do anything because of fear. Some people don't do anything because they're fearful to lose their salary, the economical means. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to work? Fear paralyzes men. It has always been like that, and it will always be. So the Bible says that perfect love casts out fear. Do not be afraid of anything or anyone. Because if you give yourself, if you consecrate 100% to the Lord, He will take care of your life and the life of those people, of your children, of your wife, of those people that are close to you, of all those people that are under your covering, under your protection and your care. Do not be afraid to break with uh, wrong structures and schemes, denominationally speaking, with customs and humanly traditions that what they do is to bring ties and strongholds and bring, let's say, paralysis, spiritually speaking, to our lives. And they stop us from growing and to advance. It is time to seek good and not evil so that you can live. Think about that and ask yourself, what type of life are you living in this time? Are you living in the center of the will of the God or are you lost in a limbo that you don't know what you're wanting? You can have a job, you can have things, but are you doing and fulfilling the will of God in your life? Well, be honest with yourself. You can fake and you can fool people, but you cannot fool yourself. Because in the end, you will be damaging your brain. People that say one thing and do another, they get sick. And we have seen that many times. And God does not want you to be uh, unhappy and miserable and blind, like the Lord said to the church of Laodicea, seek good and hate bad so that you can live. And that way, God has pity and mercy on your life, and He will put you in first line, and He will renew you and give you illusions of serving Him and in the end of live life. My dear brethren, may each one of us seek ourselves and try ourselves, as the scripture says, and today we'll reflect around 
what we are doing with our lives, where are, is our heart, who's the center of our life and who is the center of our lives, what is the, what it brings balance to our lives. Let's pray, asking us every morning, as every day, the blessing of God, so that God will keep us and will uh, stop us from making wrong decisions and we can please with all that we do today and that we will always give all the honor and all the glory. Let's pray. Thank you for this privilege that you give us every day to reflect, even if it is for some simple brief moments regarding our lives. And with your word in hand, we ask you, Lord, give us strength to seek good and hate evil, the sin. Give us strength to want to lift our heads up and make Christ the base and the center of our lives and to tell goodbye to disorder and the lack of forgiveness and confusion and ignorance that the darkness will go away because your light is coming to our lives today. Thank you, Lord. And I ask you that you will have mercy of, of myself. I ask you, Lord, that you will lift up those who have fallen. I ask, Lord, that you will renew the strength of those who are tired of the way. Lord, I ask you that that the soldiers that are wounded, that they will take up their, their weapons to fight the good fight and finish the race in victory. We put our lives, our trust, 100% in you. And with thanksgiving, we ask you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you. Reflect today in this portion of a scripture. Amos 5, chapter verses 14 and 15, the ones who have the devotional, write down what is it that you have learned, in which you have to learn or, or better yourself. How can you put in practice this text, this teaching? What is the evil thing that you have to get rid of forever? What is the good that you're not seeking and you should? In everything and each one of these things, let's be working on that, because as you know, Our daily devotional is not the typical one that they give it to you all done and you read it and that's all. It is a, a working devotional, something to reflect on along the day and not let us be distracted by no one or anything. May the Lord bless you. I send greetings from the Canary Islands in Tenerife that everywhere where this message is reaching right now, that the Lord will bring blessing and re spiritual renewal to your life. May the Lord bless you.